tutorial I would like to talk about a list in Python so I have uh, created an index of some of the things that I want to talk about um, in Python list uh, so let's get started here so the first we are gonna go through how to create a list so there are uh, two ways we can create a list first using this square bracket and then using the list constructor and then we are going to go over uh, how to access values uh, from list. So this would be similar to um, you know, arrays or working with uh, other, other uh, types of arrays uh, of in other languages. And uh, then we are going to talk about how list is mutable, which is uh, you can change uh, the elements of a list uh, compared to a uh, tuple where you can't really change anything and uh, we we would see that duplicates are allowed in list so list is pretty flexible object in Python and you can literally um, you know save so many things so many times like you can literally change uh, list or dictionary you can have a uh, list within the list you can have dictionaries within the dictionary within the list so I will uh, give you an example uh, uh, but yeah so going down we are gonna also talk about slicing and then uh, a little bit about, about a list comprehension even though this is out of this topic uh, out of the topic of list but we'll talk about it and then at the end we are just gonna go over some of these uh, built-in uh, list methods so the first thing that um, I wanna focus on is that I have here a function um, so this is not useful except it's just I'm just trying to set an example here so I have a function here um, and then I have like I have three lists that I create created uh, one of them is even numbers from 0 to 10 uh, with an interval of 2 and then the odd numbers from 1 to 10, 10 um, and it's not um, and, and with an interval interval of 2 so it's basically using this range function that function takes in uh, uh, depending on what you use you can have one parameter two parameter or three parameters uh, so the first one uh, is uh, the first parameter represents uh, from where we're gonna we are gonna start counting and then uh, for the 10 um, is uh, where we will stop uh, so once I run this query I get uh, and then I do print here so for these two I get the an even number of list and odd number of list and then I also have this random list which is another list and you can see that in the la random list we have uh, one uh, as an integer two as in string and then three another string and then the fourth value is a dictionary fifth value is a tuple sixth value is a set and the seventh value is a function so this uh, is probably you will never see this in a, in a production environment but I just wanted to uh, you know show an example and uh, and show that uh, you know you can have any type of object uh, in a list and uh, as you can see here it's it shows uh, that it, this line indeed executed and we see all these uh, values uh, one way to uh, let's see if we want to you know check the type for each of these uh, values so we would do oh sorry what am I doing here so for I and then so just write this and instead of type we are uh, we need to print this so we will just print it so as you can see uh, here what we did is that we uh, went by each one of these uh, one of these values and we, we printed their uh, type I think a better option would be to just you know show both show I and then 
type of so I want to say uh, is type of and then I want to close this and when I run this we see that it says one is type of class int two is type of class string three is type of class string so so basically you get the idea here right um, uh, the idea is that a list can hold uh, multiple other uh, other objects and um, we can also have uh, you know uh, uh, duplicate option uh, dupli duplicate items within a list so uh, going back to how for example how to create list uh, so here we use that square bracket to create list uh, and then here we used that uh, list constructor uh, to create list. So that's the two ways we can uh, we create list. And then we have uh, so uh, so if we are gonna access values, let's say uh, we have the list here and we want to access the first values. Uh, so we would put zero. And if we want to access the last values, you would put negative one. If we, let's say, want to access all the values from second element, so we would do something like this. So that um, since uh, the count of a list starts from zero, so when I do zero, so zero, so then it would start from start from here, and then one would be this one. So by uh, by writing it this way we are saying that we want uh, the the output of this list from from index one uh, till the end so when I write that I get this value so it's from index one till uh, the till end so also if I want to get a bit depth depth here so so let's say if I have this uh, list and then let's say I want to just get uh, these three items from this list. So I would do uh, even and then I would start from the from the second one and then I'll do zero, one, two, three. And then I would want to say four be, uh, here so that that takes the three uh, until four so the four when so the index four like zero one two three four so the index four is not included uh, uh, so when we say from one to four so it comes here zero one it takes the first one second one third one and uh, it goes it hits the eight but it doesn't include eight here all right, so that that's slicing. Uh, now, if I go back here, uh, all right. So let's talk about list comprehension. So I'm gonna write a list comprehension here. So, I so we know I have this list uh, even number, and if I do that, uh, so that's here, uh, and then if I come here, let's say. Uh, let's say I want to apply some sort of rules uh, to all of these to all of these or, or um, I could do something like this I think this is applicable oh no that's not what I want though uh, so let's say I want to apply uh, like I want to add two uh, with all these items so I could say for I in uh, I could do something like um, temp uh, I can do something like final list equals this and then I do for I in event numbers then final dot append I plus two so what this does here is that it goes through each elements from this even numbers and then it adds two with each element and then adds an appends which is a, a built-in method built-in list method so what append does is that it adds 
adds this item at the end of this list so if I check for this final list here I could see that what we had before was even numbers and for each element we have we added two num two numbers so these two we added in each element here but we could do something like this uh, in a more uh, in a more compressed manner uh, by using a list comprehension which is something like this so I would have this two brackets and then I would do i plus 2 for i in even number so if I do that I get the same result so whatever I had here I am getting all uh, all of these in one line here and I could even do final list 2 and I could set it that way. So when I do that, uh, I get the output as this. All right. So now uh, I want to talk about some of the built-in uh, uh, built-in methods, built-in list methods. So if I just copy these uh, for the sake of uh, for the sake of not wasting time here, so. So the first one we kind of talked about, uh, wh whenever we use this append or whenever we wanna, uh, you know, uh, add certain items to a list, we could just use this append method. So for example, if I have final list here, that's two, four, six, eight, ten, And then let's say I wanna append, let's say I wanna append like 123. So, um, so that 123 just got added to the final list. And if I do final list again, we could see that uh, that um, item is included. All right, so that clear method uh, sort of clears out this element, this list. Uh, so, so for the sake of you know checking, so we have this memory address here, and then we are gonna clear out now if I run this again it says it's an empty list because we used that clear method but now if I use that ID method uh, and then if I test it we would see that it's the same list it's just uh, has been cleared out by this me uh, built-in method all right the second one is copy so copy is something um, I used sometimes. Uh, so copy is basically it copies a list and then it returns. Uh, it copies a list. Basically, that's the idea. So if I do temp list and then final list dot copy. So now we have a copy of this final list. So these two are separate things. These two are actually different things. So our ID, uh, so the ID of this final list is this value. And then if I use the ID method to check the temp list, we would see a different value here, which is the memory address for this list. So it does show that these two are in different location. All right. So now uh i'm just gonna clear out some of these things uh and then the next one i want to do here i want to describe is the count so what happens is that the count uh method counts and um, count by the count method takes in a value and then counts how many times that value exists so if i do final list um it's empty. Uh, so, okay, so let's see if I do final list equals one, 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 24 and then six. All right, so, oops, sorry. So this is our list now. Now if I, let's say I wanna count how many times two exist. So if I do count the two, you could see that the two exists three times in the list. All right, so the next one is extend. So extend is something that is similar to append, but instead of one item, you just, uh, you sort of like, uh, 
you you sort of like put in as an iterable so an iterable is something that that can iterate uh so uh f let me let me show an example here so let's say i have this list here uh it's a range of 10 so if i do temp uh but i, I should i should i should do this i should do it this way so i should do list and then range so now I have this range and I want to I want to use extend so that I can add this list temp list temp list at the end of final list so the way to do this is similar to append I just put in the temp list now if I check the final list we see that this this part here at the end is actually this temp list now you could say that why don't we just uh, use extend for every time but that's not gonna that's gonna cause a problem because extend doesn't take in single single integer so if I do something like this it's gonna give us an error it takes in only iterables okay so all right so I actually never tried if I could use append for append as a, as a, you know as extend so if i do something like this sh should this cause an error oh it doesn't but but st but this is what happens so append actually appends but it appends a uh, whole list itself uh so we talked about this right uh list can uh include uh, pretty much any object type so here, when when we append a list, it it just appends it's uh, this whole list, not not certain items. All right. So now uh, the index. Um, so so if I have twenty four here, let's say, I would have the index would be the index the output for this method would be zero one two three four. So it should be four. That is correct. And if I do two here, the output should be one because uh, the first time two appears in this list is at index one. Okay, so the next one is insert. All right, so so the the way insert works is that it takes in an index value and then for that index it puts in the value. So the first one is the index value. The second one is the value itself. So uh if i sort of do it now you could see in the in the zeroth zeroth index uh it inserted this value and it pushed pretty much everything here to one index so if i want to do the next insert the next index and if i say this is also zero and i have some value here and then if i look at the final list uh we see that the this the whole thing we had before it got pushed downward and then we inserted this value all right i'm just going to uh, i'm just going to use an easier example here again my list uh range 5 All right, so we're back to the beginning uh, from zero to five, and now uh, besides insert, we have a pop. So what pop does is that it kind of like pops out the value, and then it returns. It pops the last value and it returns, and at the same time, it this value once gets popped out, it actually gets excluded from the list. So if I if I were to do type the list again, you use, you could see that that four doesn't exist here anymore. So it does two things: it returns this four as output. At the same time, it um, it sort of like removes that four from from that list. Okay, uh, and then the next one would be remove. All right, so remove.
so if I sort of do it here so if I do one two so when I, when I say remove and then I put in plug in value it sort of removes that value I kind of want to see what, what if there are two values and then it should remove the first one I think so okay so now I have my list as this zero one three one and I want to use that remove method and when I do that and I plug in one um, so I removed one from the list so it removes the first item first time this value appears all right that seems pretty clear okay um and then there's reverse which sort of uh which is pretty self-explanatory so if i do reverse that sort of reversed their list so we had like um zero three one and then and then we have one zero three zero I could do the same thing again and then print it so it's just reversed okay and the last item is sorting so it's basically sorts sorts the list so if I do sort it just sorts it and then I print it so it says zero one three all right so that's that's what I have for this tutorial so uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. All right, bye.